Ah, night routines. You've heard it all. Meditation, journaling, 100 push-ups before you sleep, drink 10 liters before you sleep, all that nonsense. After my 17 years of experience in life, I realized that my best night routine happened when I was a little kid. And it only consisted of four things. Pre-day planning, stretching mobility, meditation and prayer, and sleep. And like a lot of you before this, I was probably averaging like six or seven hours of sleep, max. And that's not enough like at all. And I also know that a lot of you guys watching, you guys sleep at 3 a.m., like 4 a.m. as well. Like, that's crazy. My goal for this video is you create a night routine that will help you to sleep way before that. The quality of your sleep is the quality of your day. But without yapping too much, the first thing is about pre-day planning. Failing to plan is planning to fail. Just for me, I just hate waking up and just not having a plan or not knowing what to do. It's, it's like packing for a plane trip. You're not gonna pack two hours before the flight. You're gonna pack way before that. You're gonna pack at latest the night before. So I literally just sit down and think what I'm going to do that day. And then I open my Notion page and boom, just write down what I wanna do. You know, too many people are like, oh, I'm just gonna go with the flow and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let life take me on an adventurous journey. And for me, with all due respect, in my opinion, that's just a straight path to failure. There's some people who can do that, I know. Like again, I'm not against it. It just doesn't work for me. The next one is, unless you wanna be a crinkly, old, stiff, rigid, haggard, old man or woman, work on your flexibility. This is actually so underrated. I've been playing sports since I was really young and I can tell you right now, I've never had a serious injury, like ever. And the reason is because I really took what my dad said seriously. He emphasized on the fact that the health of your body is the most important thing. It's way more important than any other aspect of the sport. Because if you think about it, you can train as much as you want. You can train as hard as you can for like, maybe like 10 hours a day. In the game, if someone knocks you off balance and you fall and you tear an ACL or, you know, just something, you like you break your leg, then what are you gonna do? Adios to your season, your season is gone now, you can't even play. So the health of your body is the most important thing. And flexibility and mobility really helps to prevent injuries. Imagine you get a new car, you're gonna maintain it, you're gonna clean it as much as you can, like the nitty gritty things. That's exactly the same as your body. You have to preserve it for as long as you can. One thing I kind of tell myself, I know it's not possible, but it's like, I should be able to show my grandkids a backflip. Like, what? I know that's not gonna happen, but like, that's like, like I'm Bro, taking to the extreme. About, I wanna man? keep my body really healthy and like mobile. So in the future, I won't be walking around with a damn stick. You know what I mean? And I get it. You're tired at night. You just wanna sleep. I'm also tired of your excuse. We all have time, at least like five minutes before we sleep. So grab a mat, get to the floor, and let's stretch. The main things I stretch are my hamstrings, quads, and glutes, which takes up like most of the legs. And I also stretch my calves. And then for most people, your hips are gonna be really tight. So you gotta hit that frog pose. There's no way in hell I'm gonna show you me doing this for obvious reasons, but this is a really good stretch. And then a simple spine stretch. And of course, we can't forget our shoulders. These are really tight for most people. You can just use a towel or I like to use my resistant band. And I've been using this for a couple of years now, but this stretch, I promise you, it saved me so many, it saved me from so many injuries. So I really recommend that one. And trust me, like I used to be really inflexible too. Like, I wasn't able to touch my toes, but it's just a matter of showing up and actually getting to the ground and stretching. You have to be consistent with it. And I promise you, it's gonna be a slow journey, but it's gonna be slow but sure. The results are gonna be top tier. You won't be injured ever again. Actually, no, 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 I take that back. If you get injured, they come at me. But like, this will reduce your injury risk. Uh, following after that is meditation and prayer. You know, I know I sound like one of those other self-improvement YouTubers, but for real though, if you're religious, praying before you sleep is really calming. And the whole point of this video or like this routine is to find peace before you sleep so you can have a good sleep. Now, I'm Christian, so before I sleep, I just sit down and just pray about my day. You know, if I was feeling anxious that day, if I feel stressed that day, or you know, if I was feeling grateful that day as well, I just talk about that and I just pray about that. And when I go to sleep, I just feel a lot more peaceful. And even if you're not religious, that's fine. You can do meditation. Meditation, you know, you basically just 
gather all the hectic things and you direct it into a different place and you just focus on your breathing. And these two things really bring peace, I promise you. And for those of you who actually do this, you know what I mean by this brings you peace. Like, this is a different type of calmness. Like, I promise you, when you wake up, you're gonna feel like a, you're gonna feel like a new person. And it's literally that simple. Just sit down and, the last one is sleep. This is a really short thing. Nothing more than that. You, we literally need like eight to 10 hours of sleep. doesn't matter if you're five years old, if you're, if you're 10, if you're 50, if you're 80, it doesn't matter. And I know some people, I'm not gonna name names, but some people sleep at damn three to 4 a.m. Like, <laughs> like nah, like nah, just, just no, just don't. Like nothing personal, bro, you know? Just, you know, like just trying to save your life. Lately, I've made it my goal to like sleep earlier, and and I have to admit my sleep schedule is kind of it's kind of scoffed, low key. I made it my goal, and especially because now we're in holidays, we have a six week holiday. I'm trying to make that my goal to sleep earlier during that time. I've been slacking, I've been slacking, but we're gonna change that now. You know, this night routine is not a perfect structure. It's not like once you do this, you're gonna become a millionaire or you're gonna become the hottest person alive. Like you have to. You have to try and error with this. I didn't just do this, do this routine and you know, this was a perfect thing. I tried different things and it didn't work, but over time it just, I, it just gradually molded into what I'm sharing with you guys today. Remember, this isn't a temporary thing. It's a lifestyle. I hope that this helped you guys with, you know, building a good night routine. But yeah, without further ado, if you're watching this before you sleep, I think you should try it out and just let me know how it goes, you know? Comment down below if I'm scamming you or if this is actually facts. But yeah, without further ado, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon and adios.